Happy Monday, Bishop Gorman. I'm Caitlin Bertram. And I'm Colton Castro. Colton, it's not homecoming and it's not Halloween. Why are you still wearing that? Well, I'm celebrating Veterans Day and it keeps me warm. Can I have it? No. Please stand for the prayer and the pledge. Remember that we're in God's holy presence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This week we honor our veterans, men and women, who gave their best when they were called upon to serve and protect their country. We pray that you will bless them, Lord, for their unselfish service and their continual struggle to preserve our freedoms, our safety, and our country's heritage for all of us. We thank them, we respect them, we honor them, and we are proud of them. And we pray that you will watch over these special people and bless them with peace and happiness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And now for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Gorman, get ready for the fastest week ever, because BGTV is coming at you in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This could possibly be the best day ever. Bishop Gorman. I'm Danielle Harris. And I'm Alex Porterfield. And this is BGTV. It's Monday, November 7th, 2011, and on this day one year ago, Queen Elizabeth II joined the internet phenomenon known as Facebook. Don't bother trying to friend request her, though. She's a little busy running England. And speaking of being busy, the freshman class continues to stay busy with their diligence and kindness as more and more freshmen are being nominated for Freshman of the Week. Congratulations to freshmen Jordan Mercado and Brandon Wolf, who started off the new quarter strong. Keep up the good work. Do you need some extra help with math? Well, then listen up, because Math Lab is now available in room 306 during fourth period. Help will be available every day, with the exceptions of block days or during Beyond the Books. You are welcome to attend Math Lab during lunch, study hall, or both. However, please be aware that you must sign up ahead of time. Any questions? Just ask your math teacher. Attention à tous les membres de la Société d'Avenir Française. If you have no idea what I just said, you're probably not in the French club. There will be a meeting in room 109 after school on Thursday. If you are not able to attend, please email Madam Jones. And for those of you who weren't aware, this week is National French Week. Today and Thursday, during all lunches, there will be games, food, music, and more events taking place. Also, be sure to take a close look around the halls for French facts, and be sure to tell Madam Jones or Madam Dixon which ones you found. And you might be able to win a prize. The Creative Writing Club will be meeting this Thursday morning at 6.30 for reading and critiques in room 203. Art Club will be meeting right after school today for a brief meeting until 2.15 in room 110. And for those of you who are in the National Art Honor Society, there will be another brief meeting tomorrow from 2 to 2.30 in room 117. If you are creative, committed, enthusiastic, and looking for something to do this spring, I have the perfect job for you. Sign up to be a crew member for the Spring Musical Oklahoma. Participation agreement forms can be printed off the Gales Theatre Guild Edline page, and they are due by this Thursday, November 10th. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by the theatre complex to speak with Ms. Ferrante Martin. You know what's better than a four-day week, Alex? What's that, Danielle? A three-and-a-half-day week. That's right, this Wednesday is an in-service day, which means dismissal is at 11.30. And if you are planning on coming to school on Friday, you might want to think twice, as we have no school due to the observance of Veterans Day. And speaking of Veterans Day, we here at BGTV would like to take this opportunity to thank all our Bishop Gorman veterans. These men dedicated their lives to the freedom and safety of the United States, and on behalf of the Bishop Gorman community, we are nothing but eternally thankful. Students, don't forget to wear your mass uniform this Thursday for the Veterans Day Assembly. Thanksgiving is right around the corner, 17 days to be exact, and there are many families in the Las Vegas Valley who still need our help to provide food for their Thanksgiving dinners. Please remember to turn in your donations to your English classes by this Thursday. Attention all seniors, remember to turn in your pictures for the Senior Slideshow by December 9th. You must submit one baby picture and one current picture of yourself, and you can email them to bghsseniorpics at gmail.com or turn them in to Ms. Canella in the Activities Office. 
We had a very eventful week with our sports teams. For more on that, here's Kelly Stewart. Thanks, Danielle. The boys' cross-country team made school history over the weekend at the state meet in Reno. The team placed fifth in the state, were at the academic state champions, and had three runners in the top 25 individuals. Congratulations to Eric Klein for his sixth place overall finish, which earned him a spot on the all-seat team. Starting off last week, our men's varsity soccer team routed Cimarron 3-0 on Tuesday, making it to the playoff game. But unfortunately, the Gales were defeated by Centennial on Thursday with a final score of 3-4. We'd like to congratulate our men's soccer team on a great season full of dedication and determination. Our Lady Gales varsity volleyball team won both Tuesday and Thursday's playoff games against the Palo Verde Panthers and Faith Lutheran Crusaders, both with match scores of 3-0. The Lady Gales made it to the regional championship game on Friday, trumping Centennial with a match score of 3-1. to one. Congratulations, ladies. And finally, after a beautiful moment of silence and balloon release for senior Brady Kaipa, our varsity football team ambushed the Cheyenne Desert Shields 49-6 on Friday night. Great job, guys, and keep up the hard work. Our Gales will travel to Arborview this Thursday to take on the Aggies in the regional semifinals. Be sure to come out and support your team. I'm Kelly Stewart. And that's all for sports. Back to you, ladies. Thanks, Kelly. Just a friendly, re friendly reminder to bring a buck tomorrow for my box. Every donation counts as we help more and more people in need in the Las Vegas community. That's it for us. I'm Alex Porterfield. I'm going to friend Pippa. And this <laughs> is VGTV.